Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Ferlici Friday. It is a beautiful, beautiful fall day here in Michigan. Oh my gosh, if you could see out my windows, all of the colors. Oh, this is like, this is gonna be the weekend to go on like a driving color tour around Michigan, I think, because it is gorgeous outside, although it's freezing. So that's why I've got my, <laughs> my Michigan sweatshirt on here. Um, I'm gonna tip that down. Hey, Nikki, how are you doing? Sorry, guys, I hate to do that when um, I've already started the video. I thought I had it in a good place, but it seems like it's kind of pointing up high. So there you go. Now you can see I got my maize and blue on. I was gonna wear a nice sweater and I'm like, it's, it was it's like a thin one, so it wasn't very warm. And I'm like, oh no, I gotta put my sweatshirt on because I'm freezing in the house right now. I think I should turn my heat up, although I just hate to do that, right? It's like, oh, I'm not quite ready for heat, but it's freezing. But anyway, yeah, we got a big football game this weekend playing Penn State on Saturday at Penn State. So that's gonna be a tough one. Hopefully the maize and blue can pull it out. Um, yeah, and I wanna say welcome to um, any new friends. Hey Sharon, how are you doing? Yeah, you're watching like, you're watching the live. Usually I know you watch it later on the big, hopefully we're not on the big screen right now, right? <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, welcome anybody. I have been doing um, an ad on Facebook, so I'm hoping to find some new stamping friends. So if you're joining us, on the live or later uh, watching the replay on Facebook or on YouTube. Welcome, we're happy to have new stampers joining us all the time. Um, let's, I was, it was funny, I was like, oh, I hope I don't offend anybody with my Michigan sweatshirt, although this is where my heart is, right? So I can't, I can't deny that. But anyway, I welcome anyone who likes any um, sporting, stamping, any of that sort of thing. I'd love to have you joining us. So. Welcome, welcome um, from wherever you might be from. Um, let's see, what do we have going on? I've got my notes here and I've already like blanked out. Oh, I know the one big thing I wanna tell you guys about is Stampin' Up, and they just kind of teased us as demonstrators. They just put a quick blurb on the Stampin' Up website this week saying they're gonna be doing a 24 hour sale and to check back to the Stampin' Up website on Monday, October 21st. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's not actually gonna happen on Monday, but I don't know for sure. So keep your eyes and ears open. There's going to be a 24 hour sale. I'm thinking they're gonna give us info on Monday and maybe it'll happen Tuesday, but this is all my pure speculation. I really have no idea. So maybe it'll happen even on Monday um, at some point too. So watch out for that. I don't have any idea. Um, they, they do these every once in a while and you can't even plan. Like you have no idea what's gonna be on the sale, but it's gonna be one day, 24 hours, that's it, and the sale is over. So keep your eyes and ears open for that because that'll be happening uh, next week sometime, I'm sure. So yeah, and then, um, oh, I know what I wanna show you. Hey, Marianne, how are you? And Susie, I'm so glad everybody can join us today. Thanks, guys. Um, we had our Inkspired Stampers, that's my downline, the Inkspired Stampers. We had our group meeting this week and we had some beautiful cards that people did as swaps. And so I thought, you know what? Sometimes I forget to share these things with you guys and, and I thought, I, I, they're sitting right on my desk, so how could I forget, right? So anyway, I wanna show you guys all of these beautiful cards. So this one, and of course they're gonna be backwards, but we'll get a good um, close up of them. Although the color changes, doesn't it, when I get closer? But look at, this is some of the Feels Like Frost Designer Series paper. Um, so that's like the front side and then that's the back side with the kind of white and silver. So you can get really pretty kind of um, pastel colored imagery for the most part, I would say. And then um, kind of a silver and white and every one is different. I think I showed you guys that a couple weeks ago because it was one of the giveaways. Um, but the other fun thing was that stripey ribbon. This has been sitting on my desk like, use me, use me. Like I, when I really want to make sure I'm going to use something, I put it right on my desk. So I keep looking at it and hopefully we'll be inspired. And I have yet to find like a way to use it. I was thinking Halloween because you know, purple and orange and green and black can kind of be good Halloween colors. So I still have a little bit of time for that. But anyway, I loved, I was like, hey, I, we got a fun idea with that purple. Can you guys see the stripey? So there's like a real pale purple. And then I would say maybe like a medium Highland Heather and then um, the gorgeous grape there too. So hey, Denise, hey, Philomena. I'm glad you guys can join us. So anyway, this was, I. oh my gosh, was this Sunday? I shouldn't even say names. I, I feel like this was Sunday's card, but if I'm wrong, don't shoot me, okay, guys? Um, this one I remember was Susie because she was talking about, she used like a, um, it's a stitched, 
Nope, she didn't use, it's funny because they're like rectangles like it was, you could have, she could have used the stitched um, rectangle framelits, but she was talking about how she wished she had put that panel right there behind that designer series paper with pretty peacock that maybe it would jump out a little bit more. That's the main reason why I remember it was Susie's card, but it's super cute. I love it just the way it is, Miss Susie. I think it's beautiful. Um, love the little pumpkins and that non-traditional, I, I just love that, the pretty peacock and the kind of paler blues. Um, love that one. And then Miss Wendy made this card for us. This, oh my goodness, that lighthouse is just gorgeous. It's like a two-step. I have to look at it. Yeah, it is just two steps. So you stamp once in red and then the other in blue and it isn't that, it just makes it beautiful. And then all of the sand and kind of the sea grass and stuff, it, I forgot, I haven't used that stamp set in a while and I'm not gonna remember the name of it right now, but I love that lighthouse and that stamp set. I think it's because it looks so real. So you're welcome, Susie. <laughs> and then Sharon, who is totally into the flippy fun fold cards, she made this. Let me make sure I get it the right way. So let it snow and then you open it up this way so you guys can kind of see, right? Isn't that fun? She was the one that um, came up with the other flippy fun fold card that I ended up making a video on um, a couple of weeks ago. So someday, Sharon, you're gonna make your own videos too, I bet. You're getting, you're getting pretty savvy at like watching everybody else's. So now we'll have to get you making your own. But isn't that fun? It's a little snowman card. And then, um, <clears throat> Karen made this card and it's a Thanksgiving card so it starts out with Happy Thanksgiving right but then this is kind of you can kind of see it flopping around right this folds up and then it goes like that and then there's a sentiment on the inside which says you fill my heart with gratitude this day and always so isn't that fun it can kind of sit like that right so cool cool little um, fold on her card and then Nancy made this one again it's the same designer series paper um, that feels like frost and i love so this idea was basically this is a piece of the six by six she cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches kind of picked the part that she really wanted to see and then she cut with the yeah this one definitely used the rectangles so if you can see she cut this piece out of this back piece and then popped it up on some Highland Heather cardstock with another stitched rectangle, like the next largest size. So isn't that cool? So basically it's one sheet that she cut this piece out of that piece. So very cool, I thought, I love. And it's a great way to showcase that designer series paper too. And then you can add whatever sentiment you want there or just keep it as like a note card, right? And just send it out just like that. You don't even have to say anything because the paper speaks for itself. It's gorgeous. So ladies, you guys did, my Inkspired Stampers did a fabulous job this month on um, their swap cards. I think it was swaps and then we always do a creative challenge which was masculine masculine cards. So some of those um, maybe went for the masculine challenge too. So anyway, if you want info on becoming an Inkspired Stamper, um, we do, so I have a meeting that we do every month. Um, it's usually the third Tuesday of every month and we do it live here in Alma at the stamp studio. But if you can't make it, like if you're not, if it's, you know, if you're long distance or if you just can't make it to the meeting that night, we always do a Facebook Live for that as well. So it tries, I try to help make sure everybody is kind of included and feels a part of things. So if you have any questions about becoming an Inkspire Stamper, the starter kit deal is always an awesome deal. We were talking about that the other night at our meeting too, that so the, the general starter kit deal is you get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. So that's an awesome deal. Um, basically, if you were to come to me with a $100 order, I would say, whoa, wait a minute, it's actually cheaper for you to get the starter kit, right? Because you only pay $104.94 in Michigan because our sales tax is 6%, so it depends on what state you're in. Might be a little bit different, but not too much, right? So anyway, it's a great deal. Um, it's cheaper than putting a $100 order in because you have to pay 10% shipping and then, then you're sales tax too. So it's closer to $120 if you put a $100 order in. So something to keep in mind if ever you're like, hey, I'm going to put in a, a good size order, get the starter kit instead. It's always a great deal. And then you get 20% off of all of your orders. And then you can be an inspired stamper too and come hang out with us on the third Tuesday of the month for our Facebook Live. We have a whole separate Facebook group um, just for the inspired stampers where we share on there our creative challenges. Um, I just posted all of our swap cards that I showed you guys too. Um, um, and then lots of other kind of tips and information um, and stamping and lots of good stuff. So 
If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love for you to become an expired stamper. Um, okay, what else, what else? You know me, I have to check my notes. I, uh, Lily, my daughter and I, we were laughing about that because she forgot to, oh, she forgot to practice one of her dances last night. She was like, oh, I'm gonna get home and write myself a note so that I don't forget to do that again. I'm like, oh, I have created a monster. Because if you could see, I have like notes like all over the house to try to remind me in my car, in my bathroom, everywhere <laughs> to help me like stay on track. So I think Lily's kind of become like a mini me like that too, because she's got lots of little notes around <laughs> also. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, we talked about the 24 hour sale, um, showed you the swaps. Yeah, so I think, oh, a couple of quick reminders. If you are local here, I've got a couple of um, upcoming events I wanna make sure everybody knows about. So we've got Bingo at the Stamp Studio on Thursday, November 7th. RSVPs are due by Tuesday, October 29th. Awesome, love bingo. We stamp and we play bingo and you win prizes out of the holiday catalog. It's an awesome, awesome night. I always give you like a little goodie bag of stuff and make a cute treat for you. So fun, fun night, all right? Um, and then also scrapbook class, which is always the last Tuesday of the month. So it comes up on Tuesday, October 29th. I need RSVPs this Sunday, which is the 20th. Um, so if you're interested in coming to scrapbook class, let me know. And then if you're not local, I've got other options for you like my, where's my stuff here? The Christmas Gleaming class to go. Oh my goodness, look at, okay, so I'm just gonna give you like a quick little flash because you guys are maybe already know, if you don't, there is a link um, we make two of each of these cards in the class to go. Uh, Christmas Gleaming class to go, it's called. There is a link on our Facebook page. I've been emailing about it. If you need any information, I'd love to get you signed up because RSVPs for that class to go are due by this Monday, the 21st. So lots of things coming up in the next little bit. So keep your eyes and ears open for all of that fun stuff and let me know if you would like one of those to-go kits because you know me, I'm going to stop playing with that stuff, though. There's a lot of other stuff I can play with right out of the holiday catalog. <laughs> I laugh because I'm like, oh, I've been playing with it so much. But that's my absolute favorite. It will always be. Those blues and greens with the copper, it's gorgeous. Um, okay, uh, let's see. So I think we can go ahead and do our drawing now. So we are drawing this week for the Monster Bash Enamel Shapes. And one thing I will tell you guys, I actually have quite a few entries because you get your name in here if you share the Facebook Live video, which I completely appreciate. Make sure you share, share this video anytime now through next Thursday and your name goes in here into the drawing and if you sign up for my email list. And as a result of doing the Facebook ad, that's one of the things that people can do is sign up for my email list. So I actually have a bunch of entries in here for sharing and for new friends that just signed up for my email list that I found through that Facebook ad. So let's see, we'll do a little tossing around here and pull one of these names out and see who we've got. Make sure I have one, just one piece. <laughs> There's always like a wad in my hand, okay. And this goes to, ooh, Rosalia Duverge. I'm gonna say her name is D-U-V-E-R-G-E, -E, Rosalia. If you are watching, make sure, I'm gonna check to see, sometimes people give me their address and sometimes they don't. So if you didn't give me your address, Rosalia, D-U-V-E-R-G-E, -E, make sure you email me your address so I can send you out these monster bash enamel shapes because these are going to be awesome just in time i want to get them out to you as soon as possible for halloween because we've got those cute little um grave markers gravestones the skulls the um, crows and then some dots that are black and then they're kind of uh, like a gray up above there too so rosalia let me know your address if i don't have it and i will get these sent right out to you so congratulations oh boy and you know what I realized? I have to, so my other drawing, I forgot to bring, I actually forgot to put them together. I know I had a couple of people that did orders. We'll do that in a sec, but I'm gonna have to jot people's names down real quick and get those um, in there also. Okay, um, let's see, what are we gonna give away this week? So I have, oh, I love these things too. These are the, hey Roseanne, these are the Twall Tidings enamel shapes. You can see they come in various sizes in real red 
and in garden green. And there are actually more, that little flap always covers up, but as many green, we have that many red also. So share the video, sign up for my email list, and we will do the drawing next week for these twelve tidings glitter enamel shapes. We actually use these on the card that we, on one of the cards we made last week. Um, this one actually right here. So there are those pretty little um, glitter enamel dots on that card. Okay, um, okay, I need to grab a pen because I need to write those names. Shoot. Oh, where's the pen, Storm? Okay, here we go. All right, so I am going to write these names on the other side of a couple of these pieces of paper because we're going to do our drawing. Actually, we'll do it in just a sec. Um, And then there was one more, and I'm drawing. So I had three online orders. I can remember two names, and I think I've got the other one. All right. Sorry about that. We have to get those in there too, right? Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that other drawing. So if you're new to Facebook Live, right, I want everybody to know that each time you put in an online order and use the host code, and I have that host code, and thank you, Sandra, for helping me out last week, I found it. The paper, I always panic. It's like right underneath my stuff, and I just couldn't find it quickly and easily, so I was like, ah, I couldn't find it. But it was right there. Of course, I found it right after the Facebook Live was done. Anyway, okay, so if you put an online order in um, between now and next Wednesday at midnight, you are going to get your name, well... Hold on, let me back up. Sorry, I think I make things so complicated, right? We're gonna talk about last week. If you put an online order in between last Friday's Facebook Live and Wednesday, this past Wednesday night, using the host code, you are gonna get these two cards that we demonstrated on Facebook Live last week. I'm gonna get these sent out to you on Monday. If you ordered at least $50, you also get the holiday, ooh, weird glare there, holiday rhinestone basic jewels, and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Mary Moose stamp set. There, is that better? Yeah, super cute. We showed this on Facebook Live, it was our product of the week a couple weeks ago. Love that stamp set. So, if you put your online order in, you're gonna get those cards. If you had at least a $50 order, you're gonna get the rhinestones, and one of you guys is gonna get the Mary Moose stamp set. Okay, so we're tossing these names around, and Let's see, the winner is, I've got one in my hand, Miss Linda Danis. Sorry, I've got, <laughs> I use scrap paper if you can tell, right? So Linda, you are the winner. So I will be sending out the Mary Moose stamp set to you. So congratulations, Miss Linda. And thank you guys for your orders. I appreciate those very, very much. Uh, okay, let's put it out of the way though, right? Yeah, let's see, okay. Oh, you know what else I want to tell you guys about? So um, back to my downline, my Inkspired Stampers, we had an awesome promotion. Miss Kathy Miles promoted to silver. And if you can believe she did that, she just bought the starter kit back in June. So she has been rocking it out. So congratulations, Kathy, on your promotions, to, excuse me, your promotion to silver. That was an awesome accomplishment in such a short period of time. So congratulations, Kathy, and thank you. I'm so glad you're a part of our Inkspired Stampers group. Um, okay, I feel like, man, I went through all that super fast. Oh, I know, that's right, I gotta tell you guys what we're gonna give away this week. So if you put an online order in um, of at least $30, that's all you have to do, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. This is that, the Wrapped in Plaid Designer Series paper. So the beautiful plaid paper, I have to pull it out. You guys have seen this, I'm sure, um, but maybe you've used all of yours or you haven't even had a chance to get it yet. I'm gonna just try to fan this out a little bit because I know I've shown on previous Facebook Lives, but maybe you missed it. So here, ah, if I don't make a huge mess of it, this is all of the pretty plaid with some gold accents on all of the plaid on that side. And then some more fun kind of red and green and then the cute stockings with the blue in there too, right? So beautiful pack of paper. So your name will go on the drawing this week to win that wrapped in plaid designer series paper with your order of at least $30 when you use the host code. Plus you're gonna get the projects I'm gonna demonstrate in just a few minutes. And if you have at least a $50 order, you get the rhinestones, the holiday rhinestones too. And these absolute favorite, love, love, love the rhinestones. Okay, 
man, I blew through that stuff quickly. I have to make sure. But I think I told you guys. I knew there wasn't, because there's not, um, there aren't a lot of announcements, I guess, with Stampin' Up. I always check the website on Thursday night when I'm prepping, and there really wasn't too much. We haven't heard anything more about the trimmer either. That was one question that I had this week. Um, they have not posted anything. I think it's just speculation that it's going to be November 1st. Maybe it will be. Um, I guess it just depends on whether they think they have enough of them to offer um, based on interest from demonstrators is kind of what I understood. However many they, you know, we order in October is supposed to give them an idea of how many they need um, to make sure they're well stocked when they offer it to customers. So as soon as we know, I will let you guys know. And probably, hopefully they haven't put anything on um, our <laughs> our website today because I didn't get a chance to check that. Um, all right, I think we are ready. Yeah, I'm looking around at my table here too, but I think I've shown you guys everything I wanted to show you. Okay, so go ahead and turn your um, heads away just for a sec. While I flip the camera down, I think everything looks good here. Yep. Okay. All right. Bear with me just a sec. We're going to flip the camera down so we can show you more good stuff. Okay. Let's see. We're good there. And there we go. Okie dokie. Let's see. What do I want to do? Flip it a little bit. Like, sorry, guys. I got to adjust things a little bit. So sorry about that. Oh my goodness. So um, when I hold my phone just right, um, it makes the SOS phone call for me. And that's what, <laughs> if you almost start, if you heard the alarm was almost going off there, oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. So sorry, I'm still trying to get this adjusted because you can see that white. Huh, there's something funny about things. There's always something funny. Oh well. We'll be all right, so we'll do that. Okay, so I think we're good. So you guys are looking at, if you haven't seen, this is the So Many Stars class to go. So this has been our uh, product of the week all week long is the So Many Stars bundle. Oh, there's that glare. Here we go, table's going for a ride. Hold on, get out of the glare here, there. There we go. Okay, now we're not in the glare. So featuring, yes, the So Many Stars stamp set. And can you guys see all of the awesome sentiments, right? We've got sending you love and plenty of cheer. May your days be bright throughout all the year. There's a season's greetings. This is a fun little image, right? And then another one here. We've got may you enjoy uh, this beautiful season. Hoping all your Christmas wishes come true. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. And there's a joy and then some, um, uh, well, what is that? A star, right? The little Anne sign there. Beautiful star imagery there, right? Love, maybe that's where you can do like love and peace, peace and love, right? And then some more star imagery right there too. And of course, the stamps coordinate with, look at all of these dies. I've actually got one pulled out so I make sure I know which size that I need. But actually, maybe you can see a little bit better right there. They have stitching on them too, so that's why they're called the stitched, right? Yeah, the stitched stars dies. Okay, so we have actually one and back here, two, three, four, five. We have six of them with the stitching. And then this little scrolly guy, super cool coordinates with these stars right here. So you can stamp and die cut the stars and get the scrolly bit all at the same time with this one right here. And I'll show you that um, on some of the cards that are in this class to go kit. And then just some other really pretty, uh, just lots and lots of detail too. So beautiful, beautiful set of dies. So this class, all my classes to go have included eight cards. So you could make two of each of these cards. I'm gonna show you these real quickly. Okay, and then I'll give you the different option numbers. So we've got this one right here. You can see kind of the detail. You would make two of that card, right? And I went with the blues and whites and silvers. This is the, oh, that's what was happening. That little scrolly guy, you gotta be careful with him. So that's the little scrolly bit right there, right? And love 
that the white and silver and then look i have loved the sparkle too with some of that um seaside spray metallic ribbon and then this is the one where i actually use the stars that we punched out of this scrolly piece right here like you can kind of see that one right there that cut out a star that i then put on that card right there then you make two of these and then this is some of that mercury glass designer acetate also so beautiful beautiful cards right so again you'd make two of each of those cards um, let's see, you need ink colors. I used Night of Navy, I used uh, Smoky Slate, Seaside Spray, and Blueberry Bushel. So those are the ink pads that you need um, to make your class to go kit, right? Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I think I'm going to give you options now so you know kind of what comes with what. So option number one is the full like kit and caboodle it includes a ton of product. You get the So Many Stars stamp set, the stitched stars dies, the holiday rhinestones because I use those on a bunch of the cards too. You get a quarter of a pack of this mercury glass designer acetate. So this is one pattern and then this is the other one. You get a, um, a six by 12 sheet of each of those so you can decide which one you want to use on your card right and then you actually get full bolts of this is the um, silver metallic edge ribbon and then this is the uh, seaside spray metallic ribbon and in option number one you get this bolt of ribbon for free too um, plus the PDF tutorial so option number one is $96 okay option number two is if you don't need the dies you already have the dies right you, you just want to get the stamp set and then you're going to get the rhinestones and the two bolts of ribbon and the quarter pack of the designer acetate, the mercury acetate paper, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those projects, right? Uh, and the PDF tutorial that tells you step by step how to put everything together, right? So option number two is $68. Option number three is if you already have the So Many Stars stamp set and the stitched stars dies. That's hard to say quickly, fast, right? <laughs> uh, well, you want to make sure that you have the stamp set though. So don't order option number three if you don't have the stamp set because I can't do your stamping for you, okay? So make sure you have that stamp set, right? And the dies, you are going to get all of the products. You're going to get the designer acetate, the mercury acetate, the rhinestones, the two bolts of ribbon, and all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those cards right plus the pdf tutorial so option number three is 47 dollars. then option number four is if you just want the pdf tutorial you're going to do everything all on your own you just want to know dimensions colors how i did everything right um, option number four pdf tutorial is 15 dollars, and it's always available even after the rsvp deadline okay and then last is option number five for anyone that's in my downline any of my ink inspired stampers you can get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those cards plus the PDF tutorial for cost it's just $12 you're gonna get your own stamp set and dies yourself so that you can get your discount when you order those things and I'll send you enough that you, whatever you need to make um, all of those cards any of the product included in there too okay um, so and again if you're interested in becoming an inkspired stamper you could get those make and takes for just $12 also and my downline always gets my PDF tutorials for free. So they just email me and say, hey, I want the So Many Stars PDF tutorial and I send it off to them. So super fun, quick and easy. I will also tell you if you have any of the product already, so if you have the stamps, the dies, the rhinestones, the ribbon, the mercury, glass, acetate, paper, you can make substitutions for any of that. So if you still wanna get option number one and you already have this bundle, just order something else. We'll get you a substitution because you've already got what you need to make your cards and we can still get you everything else that you need plus the tutorial and all the parts and pieces okay um let's see if you are local to me there's no additional cost but if you need it shipped to you it's an eight dollar additional shipping free fee because i send everything priority mail to you okay um rsvps for this beautiful class to go are due by Friday, October 25th, and the kits will ship out no later than November 6th. I'm hoping to do it much sooner than that. Um, so the sooner you get me the RSVPs um, and payment, then I can get everything ordered and I'll get it shipped out as soon as I can because I want to get this stuff in your guys' hands as quickly as possible. So let me know if you have any questions on the So Many Stars class to go. I would love to get one of these kits sent out to you. All right, we're going to scoot this stuff out of the way sorry if i bumped anything there okay and let me know if you have any questions on any of it okay all right i think we are ready to do our stamping let me grab 
So I'm in love now with my new grid paper. I've been using it all the time. It's just making me happy to use this pretty little uh, 13 by 13 grid paper. I did include the link on uh, my blog post on last Friday at gatheringinspiration.com. There's a link for this grid paper. Or honestly, if you just go to Stampin' Up! website and type in grid paper in the looking glass, this one will come up. So they've got the pretty, um, this kind of goes with the wrapped and plaid suite on the one side. And then the other side, right, we have the um, Twal Tidings or Twal Christmas, I can't remember. Anyway, beautiful kind of um, vintage looking sweet right there. So let's see. Okay, I think, yeah, we're good to go. The other thing I will show you guys is the host code too. So if you put in your online order of at least $30, by next Wednesday, you're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate right now. And your name goes in the drawing to win that um, wrapped in plaid designer series paper. Here's the host code, it's NPTC. W Z U H and that host code is always at gatheringinspiration.com. If you can't find it anywhere else, just go to gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com and the host code is there. Okay. Um, yeah, and also I will have my blog post uh, uploaded later on this afternoon with all of the item codes and measurements and everything that you need to know on the cards that I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. I'm gonna do, I was trying to decide always, right? Which card do I wanna do first? And actually I need, because I'm gonna show you some more beautiful projects with the So Many Stars bundle. So I wanna have these things right out here. I'm actually, yeah, let's start with this guy right here, okay. We get what we need. I'm teasing you guys, right? I don't wanna to put too much in my way though. Okay, so here is our first card. And you can see, it's it doesn't show up super well in the video, um, but it, this says, it's one of our sentiments that says, may you enjoy this beautiful season. And I actually embossed it. That's what's a little hard to tell, but I wanted you guys to know that you can use any of our ink pad colors and emboss them. I'm gonna turn my light on. I generally don't do that, but I'm gonna see if that might help us a little bit. So hold on one sec. Let me flip this. It's on, um, it's one of those lights that takes a little while to heat up too. So if the glare is too bad, that's why I tend to not do it. But I think maybe, I don't know if we can see a little bit better, but okay. So let me show you how we're gonna make this card. Okay, so I have my new trimmer out. And yeah, that's why I didn't want to put anything in my way here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay, make sure you guys can see, right? Okay, so I have, this is my thick Whisper White cardstock. And I'm just gonna lift this up and I am going to pop this in at five and a half inches. And I'm gonna run my cutting blade. And then I'm just gonna save that piece for later, right? And then we're gonna put this back in. We are gonna scoot it over to four and a quarter inches. This is my cutting blade, so I'm not gonna use that one. I've got my scoring one down here. And I'm just gonna go up and down a couple times and then I have it scored, my nice crisp fold on my card. And there, there you go. You're all ready to start your card making once you've got your card base cut like that. Okay, now, now I can get my stuff out. I knew it was gonna be in the way if I put it out before I used my cutter there, my trimmer. Okay, get this stuff too here. All right, here we go. So we also have a piece, let me give you measurements here. So we have a piece of, actually this is just scrap paper because we're gonna stamp our star on this one, so you don't even need to know measurements. You just need a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. The This is Cherry Cobbler cardstock that measures five and a quarter inches by four inches, okay? And then we have a piece of gold foil that measures, this is four inches by one inch, okay? And then some gold glimmer paper that measures four and a half by one half of an inch. And then I've also got another scrap piece of my vellum that I'm gonna punch. And actually, maybe I'll just do that right now while it's right here in front of me. And I have it in my hand. So this is my two inch circle punch. So we are just gonna punch a circle with our vellum. And that's all we need to do there. 
I'm gonna put that guy. Let's see. Yep, okay. I'm trying, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose the vellum, quite honestly. <laughs> All right, so with these pieces, let's just do these real quick too. I just cut kind of at an angle from my my corner and I just cut up and that's all I did just snip that guy like that and then this one to make the little um the little flagged edge there is what I like to call it um, because we don't have a the punch you can try but I think it's really hard to line things up so maybe we'll flip it over it might be easier to see I just cut up in I kind of eyeball it figure out where the middle is make a little snip and then I go from each corner up to my where I snipped in the center and I'm gonna flip it over because I find it's easier to cut up um, from this way both sides and cutting down there's something I'm, I'm always a little funny about trying to do that so there you go that's all you have to do there right and then we can do some stamping so let's see where did my other little piece go Oh yeah, here we go. So, <laughs> because I don't wanna make a mess of my pretty grid paper, I'm gonna put this little piece, this is from the Stamparatus. Do you guys have these little pieces of grid paper? <laughs> this is my new thing. So this, if I wanna stamp off the edges of here, it's gonna go on this grid paper and then I keep this beautiful for you guys, okay? So it's me being anal, it's just how I am, ladies. Okay, so here we go. We have Cherry Cobbler ink. And then this is, let me show you guys. This is just this little image. Oh, that glare, there we go. So it's like little sprinkles and stars, basically. So we're just gonna stamp that around. And the one thing that you'll notice is that I'm kind of spinning my stamp because I don't want it to look exactly the same. I'm kind of turning my stamp as I'm stamping, right? So that it doesn't look super uniform, if that makes sense, but I'm kind of going all the way around my cardstock. And this is just kind of a nice, subtle little background. So you can kind of see it there, right, on the paper. All right, the other thing we are going to do, we're gonna stamp our star. We need, this is why we have this scrap of white, right? Now I think I can get rid of that, right? Okay, so we're gonna just stamp our star. And the one thing I learned is you wanna make sure you give yourself enough room because I stamped it like down too far on the bottom of the paper and my, my die goes out a little bit further and I, it cut off. So just make sure you kind of give yourself enough room to do some good stamping there. And then actually, why don't we go ahead and let's stamp the inside of our card too. So we have our sentiment that says, hoping all your Christmas wishes come true. Hey, Rosa. Hey, Debbie. How are you guys? I'm glad you can join us. Okay, so we're just going to stamp this. And you saw me, right? We make sure. Nice, easy. Tap, tap, tap. I'm not pressing too hard. And then we're going to press straight down and lift straight up. Okay. And was there something else? Nope, I guess that's it. Okay. Uh, actually, no, there is. Okay, so that's the card base, right? Now we are going to do Hmm, actually, I think I learned this is the easiest way. We're actually gonna put some of our pieces on here. Okay, so we are, oh, I did bring my little, we're gonna use this. I love to use this little piece when I have a little um, strip like this and I'm afraid I'm gonna go off the edge like I did right there. So that's the fun part. It doesn't even stick on there, right? So super handy, our little silicone craft sheet. So we are gonna just put, oops, I'm flinging stuff around. We're gonna put this one just right down at the bottom there, okay? Now we are gonna get a little strip of my favorite, oh my gosh, I just love, it's like, it looks like candy cane. It just looks like, it just looks like fun to me, right? Okay, so we're just gonna put a little strip and I'm gonna tack it along the back. So on here, I'm just gonna add little kind of ticks of adhesive. And I actually want to kind of cut this at an angle. And I did try to kind of cut it along the angle that's on um, the ribbon there also. So we're just gonna, and I don't generally like to put adhesive and tack my ribbon down, but there's, you have to on this one because I didn't put it all the way around the back. So then I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive because I don't wanna put, 
Normally I'd be putting this on my card base, but I'm not quite ready to do that. So we're just gonna flip that over and put that right there, right? Now we're gonna come back, we're gonna use the gold foil. We're gonna put some adhesive on this one. The reason why I'm putting all this on before I stamp and emboss is because I want to make sure I'll show you. So my sentiment is kind of like in a stair step. So I wanna, if I put it on before, I'd probably end up with my stamp right there and then you wouldn't be able to see it. So now I've got these pieces on here and I'm gonna be able to stamp kind of right in that little angle right there is where I want it. So if I didn't say this very well earlier, what I wanna make sure is that everybody knows that any ink pad color that we have, you can emboss with because these are juicy enough now. You wanna be pretty quick in your timing. Um, you also, in terms of um, getting to your heat tool. So we're gonna stamp that right on here. We are gonna pour clear embossing powder right on our stamp. So that's all you need is any ink pad color that you want and then your clear embossing powder. So I'm gonna open this up so I'm all ready to go. And I just like to use these little Tupperware Ziploc containers um, so that if, you know, when I'm putting it back, if it doesn't all go in here, at least it ends up in this container, not all over my table, okay? I'm gonna scoot that out of the way and then I've got my heat tool. So we are ready to go. So we're gonna do the nice, easy tap, tap, tap. You're gonna press straight down and I'm gonna press pretty firmly because I wanna make sure I get all my ink on there. And then I'm gonna take my embossing powder and I'm gonna pour that all over and then just tap that right in there. And so you can see, right, how white it is right there. And then you're gonna grab your heat tool and, and it's gonna be amazing how it looks white right now, right? And then all of a sudden, it heats up enough and it just goes, ooh, do you see it happening? Isn't that cool? Can you see? Make sure we get it heated up well there. It's, it's a little bit harder to see in the video, but it looks beautiful on the paper. I'm just trying to make sure, one sec, I think I need to get my little, I always kind of forget there. There we go, okay. There, I wanted to get my little, um, exclamation point, right? May you enjoy the beauty, this beautiful season. So isn't that gorgeous? You wanna be a little careful not to heat up your gold foil too much, right? Cause I, I don't know, maybe you could burn it a little bit, but yeah, so can you kind of see, it's just not showing up super well on the video here, but it is, it's there, kind of see that shiny emboss look. So it, it is a subtle look, I will say that, um, depending on, you know, maybe if you did this red on a white, it would pop out a lot more. But I, I love that you can emboss with any ink pad color that you have and our clear embossing powder. Okay. All right. So I think now we can add this to our card base. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. Make sure I have some adhesive on that ribbon there too. Okay, so we're gonna put this piece right in here. Okay, make sure that is on there firmly. Now, I'm trying to remember if I put a dimensional behind, not behind the vellum. Okay, so we are gonna just put, yeah, I remember this now, because this is the nice part is that star um, covers up. You can see I've got kind of big globs of adhesive that I put on there. And you can really see it, right? So that's kind of ugly, but we are gonna die cut our star and put it right over top of there and you won't even know. So let's grab the die cutting machine and we are gonna run our star. Oops. So you can see, I, um, I had so much fun with the blues and whites on my class to go kit. And then I was like, hey, I need to use some reds. And I love the red and gold combination together. So, okay, here we are using, this is, so that's the largest two. This is the third uh, largest stitched die in the stars, okay? And we are gonna just put this one. You do wanna make sure you get this lined up. Um, you can kind of just see the lines around the edge of the stamping that you did. And I'll show you what I mean because it kind of, it cuts around the outside a little bit of this. Let's 
see. So hopefully I did a good job, right? Yeah, okay. So what I mean is you want to make sure it's kind of even from side to side there, right? Because it doesn't cut right along the red. It cuts around the outside. And can you see the stitching there too? So love that. And it actually, my plates are such a mess. Can you see it stitches on there also? So you could use, if I would have centered this right in the middle, then you could use this piece also. And I did do that on one of our class to go kits. Um, so yeah, very fun. All right, so actually I'm gonna scoot this guy right out of the way there. All right, now we are gonna add some dimensionals on the back of this star. Okay, we're gonna pop this. Actually, let's do one more just so we make sure he's, sometimes you have to do that, right? You have to put a few of them, even though you think one is gonna be enough, sometimes I think you need a couple of them so that it's not wobbly. It kind of helps stabilize it a little bit, right? Okay, so we are gonna put that star right there, right? And then we have the holiday rhinestones, which I cannot stop using. I think it's because all the colors are so pretty. So let's see, I'm trying to, so I don't have to think too much, ladies. So I just like to kind of pick them off with my fingers at this point. And usually it works pretty well. And of course, not, <laughs> not now. All right, so here, use my snips. All right, I'm gonna try one more, pop him. I know it's because my fingernails are too long. I need to trim them, I haven't had a chance to do that. And then I will tell you guys, on the next card, we are gonna cut out some of these little stars from what we're using on there. So we'll be back to add that little star right about there once I have made the second card. So isn't this beautiful though? Like look at, oh, can you see? I love the red and the gold. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, and actually I forgot, we need one more rhinestone. I put one right in the middle of that. There we go, yeah. Okay, so we're almost done with that card, but we're gonna come back and do that one last little finishing touch in a sec after we work on our next card. Now, you guys, this next one, I have to tell you, let me see if I can get, uh, hold on, bear with me one sec, I gotta scoot a few things out of the way. Otherwise, I'll get really confused <laughs> about what I need to use on the card. You know what, okay, here. We have to put the embossing powder away. It's freaking me out. I'm afraid I'm gonna dump it everywhere. That would be really annoying. Okay, there, I think we're good. Okay, so this next one, oh my gosh. So this one I found on Pinterest. I was trying to kind of, so I'll tell you what I do sometimes is I'll hop onto Pinterest just to kind of get my mind going on like something that I want to make. Uh, so this one, so my point is when I was trying to come up with another card, because I had already done like, I don't know, five or six cards with this So Many Stars bundle, and I was kind of running out of ideas. So I hopped onto Pinterest to see if I could find something to help kind of get me in a different direction. And honestly, I saw this card. It's by Amy Coenders. Stamp with Amy K is her blog. And I loved it so much. I'm like, you know what? We're just going to do this. I changed it up a tiny bit. Um, she, I think, used some gold glimmer paper all around that layer there. And I just decided not to do that. I thought I loved all of this gold glimmer detail on the swirly thing. And you can see, so for example, the swirly guy cuts out that star there and that star. And there's actually a couple underneath the joy too that you can't see. So we use one of those stars on our other card. But I love the wood grain paper on here also. So my point is, it's okay to case. I think people, it, it depends. You know, some people don't ever want to do it. Some people do it all the time. But I have found too that sometimes it's a great way to kind of get your wheels turning is maybe hop on to Pinterest or wherever, a favorite blog that you follow, and just make whatever project that they have if it's something that you're wanting to work with, right? Because it kind of just gets your, your mind flowing, your creative juices flowing to kind of, then you can branch off from there and think, oh, what else could I make with this? With the glimmer paper, maybe you use other glimmer paper, maybe you find some other wood grain paper, uh, maybe you 
use this sort of layout. You know, it just kind of gets your mind going in the direction um, to then create something yourself too. So I just think it's totally fine to case projects. Uh, the one thing I will say is that I would never say that I designed this card. This came straight from Amy Colander's, like I said, at stampwithamyk.com. So I don't ever want people to think, oh, I'm taking their work and making it my own. I just love to be able to share these things. When I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. I'm like, I have to show you guys how to make this too. So that's what we will do. All right. Okay. So let me get my parts and pieces. So this one, you know what? We're going to flip it over. We're going to use this side of our paper now. So we have real red this time. So you can see the difference, right? We've got the real red and the gold with all the shimmery glimmeriness, right? And then this one is cherry cobbler with our gold accents. So both of the reds are very pretty with the gold accents, I think. Okay. So let's see, we are starting, this time we are starting, and I've already cut this, but this is a piece of our real red cardstock, okay? So I cut it in half along the four and a quarter inches, and then I scored it in half at five and a half inches, okay? All right, so let's see what else. I'll give you more measurements while I'm thinking about that. Actually, I don't think I need those rhinestones, so let's get those out of there. Okay, so this is what I was saying that Amy made, she used, and it was very pretty, I just didn't have that much glimmer paper, to be honest. So she mounted, it would have been obviously a bigger piece, but very pretty too. So she used this gold glimmer paper. I decided I liked just using the soft suede too. So this is a piece of soft suede cardstock. This one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. So that then this piece of designer series paper that is from is it the pressed flowers? I'm trying to remember. Maybe you guys can kind of recognize it. I'll give you that name and item code um, in the details when I upload it um, to, well, actually on YouTube when I put the video there and then on my blog too, okay? So I think it's pressed petals, but this piece measures five inches by three and three quarter inches, okay? So that's all you need in terms of measurements. Everything else is just scraps of paper to do our stamping and die cutting. So let's see, we can do our stamping. The other thing that I have to tell you guys was I have had the Swirly Frames stamp set for quite a while. And this is one of those that I've been wanting to use it. And when I saw that Amy used, if you can kind of see, it's like she stamped a little wreath just real subtly right there. But this is the stamp right here. We're gonna use this one right here. We're gonna stamp it right in the center of our wood grain paper. So it was another reason why I was like, you know what? I don't even want to change anything up. I love her card. Oops, I already have that out, don't I? Just the way she made it because I've been dying to use that stamp set too. Okay, let me grab the other things we need here. Okay. And my stamps, and I think we've got it all. Okay, so we are going to use, I used Early Espresso Ink. We're going to open this baby up and actually scoot this over here, right? Okay, so again, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I am kind of moving around to make sure I get ink all over my stamp. Can you guys see that? I get so intent on what I'm doing that I'm not sure if you're seeing it very well. So we're going to stamp that one right there. You can maybe see it better before I put everything on it, but isn't that cool? I love that the swirly frames stamp set it is. So you've got the big rectangle, a small rectangle, square, two circles, and then a couple of fun little liney images there too. Okay, just stuck my finger in that ink. I knew I did that as soon as I closed it up. Don't we always do that, right? Okay, um, oh, actually, you know what I should tell you too on the inside of the card? Where's my card? I tucked it way away. We'll do this stamping too. We stamped peace and then with a couple of those pretty stars on there also. I love that. All right. So I am not seeing any more comments. All of a sudden I'm like, I wonder if something happened. Sometimes, I don't know, Facebook like flakes out on me, I guess. So if you guys are commenting, I'm not seeing any of the comments right now. I apologize if I'm, so I feel like you guys are being really quiet and maybe you just are being really quiet. Um, or maybe I'm not seeing the comments. So if you're commenting, I'm not seeing them. That's why I'm not responding to anything. So I'm going to keep plugging along. So we've got our piece right there. And then I grabbed that scrap, right? Because I want to stamp these and they're going to kind of fall off the edge a little bit. 
and then I don't mess up my pretty grid paper. Okay, so that was real red ink, if I didn't say that before. So we'll set this aside. And that one too. All right, now we're gonna do some more embossing because I just can't get enough of embossing right now. So, and I think this shows up even better, honestly. So we have a, a, just a strip. Okay, oh good, yes. Thank you guys, you are commenting now, awesome. <laughs> okay, thanks Nikki, pressed petals. Okay, I had that right then, I think. Is that what I said? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this time to do our embossing, I should back up, we have our Versamark ink. If you guys haven't embossed in a while, I'll give you the quick refresher. So this is a watermark ink pad. It's almost like if you flicked water um, on your paper, that's what it looks like, right? But it's really sticky ink. So that then when we use our gold embossing powder, it sticks right on there and we can heat it up. And I love to watch this one too, okay? So we'll put that right there. Okay, so we have our Versamark ink. Tap, tap, tap. Again, you don't want to press too hard because this one you could get ink all around the joy and then that looks really funny. Okay, so I'm going to press firmly there. Oops. I'm looking at that like, did it stamp? I think it did it all right. We'll see. If we don't like it, we'll do another one. I wasn't sure if the top of the J. And I do try to kind of get the powder back into the little container, but if it doesn't, this is my little catch-all. There we go. I should have used my little embossing buddy, but I think we're good. Yeah. All right. We're going to scoot. So I will tell you kind of a quick, <laughs> if you're embossing a lot, but you want to make sure to get this out of the way so that when you grab your heat tool, you don't blow your powder everywhere, right? All right, I'm going to turn that upside down because you don't want to um, have your fingers too close because this is like a hair dryer. It gets super duper hot. Can you guys see? And all of a sudden, it's kind of like that matte, powdery look. Oh, there. Can you see? It's happening. And it turns to this beautiful, shimmery gold. Ooh, I love it. Did you guys see how that happened? It's like you just see go, woof. It goes right through the paper, or right down the paper almost. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I think, oh, I know, let's do some die cutting. I like to kind of set that aside just to let it cool just a tiny bit. So we're gonna die cut this, but we're also gonna do some other die cutting. So let's do the other die cutting right now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine again. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so now we need, so I have, this is just a strip of red glimmer paper that we need, and I'm actually, Nope, I am going to leave that there so I remember to get the correct size stars. And then here, this is a strip of the gold glimmer paper. And you can see that whole scrolly thing that I cut out last time. So we're going to do that again. Okay. So from our dies, this is the scrolly piece that you can see. It's got the stars and then all those beautiful scrolls. So we're going to put that right down on there. And then I have to make sure I get the right size stars. Isn't that awful? I had this all figured out. And then I put it back in a different way, I think is what happened. Okay, so we're gonna use this star right here. <laughs> I had to think for a sec. Normally I have them tucked underneath, but I really wanted to show you guys all of the pretty stars. We're gonna use that one. And then it's funny because this one makes that teeny tiny little star. It will cut out all of kind of the negative is left on there. You can't even see it on this sort of glimmer paper. But it's funny, that big die is gonna cut out a teeny tiny baby, baby um, star. Okay, so we're gonna do that. There we go, okay, I think we're all good. Yeah, the one little star moved, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so hold on, bear with me a sec. I am gonna go back and forth a few times because, I'm sorry for the wiggle. Okay, just turn your heads away for a sec. <laughs> While I'm doing this, I'm gonna go back and forth one more time because there's so much detail and that glimmer paper is super thick. So chances are we are going to need our Big Shot die brush. So, well, that popped right out of there. Hey, Marianne, <laughs> how are you? I'm glad you can join us. All right, let's see. So this is kind of an interesting, right? That little scroll, you gotta be careful so you don't make that go super wonky. So we're gonna use our 
dye brush on that in a sec. We'll get all those parts and pieces out. And then probably same thing on this too. I think, yeah. <laughs> so those are pretty, but there's actually a lot of detail to these things. You can kind of see some of them fell out. We're going to scoot this out of the way and use our dye brush. Although that did not do. Hmm. You know what? I was really worried that I did. I, may, I feel like I may have actually <laughs> thrown out that <laughs> teeny tiny little... Okay, we'll have to see about that. Okay. Yeah, I'll come back to that in a sec. Let's die cut. Where's my joy? I want this piece right here. So my joy that I embossed here. I need my rectangle framelits. So you can see all of the stitched rectangle. We're going to use this piece, that one that's kind of completely separate from everything else. We're going to use that one on the joy right here. So we're going to lay that down on there. Okay. So I've got my magnetic platform, the one clear plate underneath, my paper, my die, and then the other clear plate on top. And that is it. Okay. So can you guys see the pretty, oh, look at that, all of the embossing and then the stitching around the edges too. Okay. All right. So let's scoot this machine out of the way. Okay. So what I was starting to say was, and I guess I... I have that wrong. I was afraid. So yesterday when I was um, making these cards, where's the card right here? This little teeny tiny. So there must be <laughs> that little teeny tiny star right there. There is a teeny tiny star die. And I actually, when I looked at this one, can you see how I might have thought that I was going to get a little star? Because I kept thinking, oh no, I threw it out. And then I saw this one. I'm like, oh no, it's right there. But yet... It's not. So this one is what I <laughs> just cut out of there. So that's what we're going to use on our card. So I'm going to word to the wise here and not from the not so. No, never mind. I found it. It is really small. I was thinking literally, guys, that I threw this out. And then I just looked over. I'm like, oh, there it is. So this is the one. Can you see that teeny tiny? We'll do that next time. But look at So that teeny tiny little die right there is the one that I needed to make that teeny tiny little star right there. But we'll try it with the big one and see what we think, okay? All right, so I think, let's see. This is what we need to do now. And I may even need my paper piercing tool that now I'm looking around. I think I did bring it. Oops, ooh, careful there. So sometimes you just have to kind of, and you know what's almost easier? So these are the stars. They're going to come right out. We want to keep those guys. And you should see my table from working with this. <laughs> I have so many little stars. And there's actually one of these scrolls. I thought these scrolls were kind of cool too. I'm like, oh, maybe I need to keep that for something. <laughs> so, you know, lots of little parts and pieces around. There's my, we're going to use our paper piercing tool. So bear with me just a sec while we get the little pieces out. There's one more star. We need that little guy, right? So can you see all those fun stars? That's a big piece right there. So I will tell you, I feel like this came out a lot easier yesterday than it is today. That's okay. It's relaxing, right? Just working with your hands like this. Isn't everybody feeling super calm and relaxed? And then look at that. Okay, I gotta scoot all this garbage out of the way so you guys can. I just think this is so pretty. I think it will show up really well on there too. So can you kind of see? Actually, let's pop these out. And then you can see all of the detail. Because once you put it on the card, I think you can't see the details quite as much. So you guys have to see all these details. Because they get covered up a little bit too. Okay, so there's that one. I think there was something. Yep, I got to pop that guy out of there. Okay. And then my big, <laughs> whoops. Okay, but check that out. Isn't that cute? So I'm keeping that scroll for something. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So you ended up with one, two, three, four, five stars, that fun little scroll. And then look at the detail on those stars too, right? Woo! isn't it beautiful? Love it. Okay. So hopefully I don't lose any of that stuff. Okay. 
And those stars, I think, are going to be all right there. So let's see. So we have this piece of soft suede cardstock. We are going to just adhere. Did we say it was pressed flowers, pressed petals, something like that? I'll give you the item code. At gatheringinspiration.com in a little while. So you can get, I haven't played with that paper too much, but it was fun to use that on there. Okay. Next, we are going to, here's my little silicone craft sheet, and I'm going to just put some adhesive on my stars. Philomena, how are you? I covered up my, okay, so we're going to put this one maybe right about there. Yes, <laughs> I know I love that scroll work. I think it's gorgeous too. Okay, then we're going to add couple of these. Let's actually put our sentiment on. So we're going to put this on with some dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to add a couple of these little guys right here. Okay. That one and that one. Okay, so we're going to put the joy maybe right about there right now. Oops, there's one more little bit I need to. You guys probably saw that when I was showing you all the detail, right? I missed it and it doesn't want to come off. Okay, there we go. And honestly, these things come out a little bit easier when you're not using the um, glimmer shimmer paper. They seem to be not, not futzy, but you know, just a little bit harder to pull things apart um, because it's thicker. My regular dies, everything just kind of popped right out of itself. And maybe we'll do that one. I don't know. I'm not sure if, I don't think I like that really big one. So let's use one of these stars, one of the little, these little gold. And again, use your little silicone craft sheet so you don't get, um, let's do two gold, so you don't get adhesive on your work paper, on your grid paper. There we go, okay, there, there we go. So beautiful, right? Look at all of that glorious, glittery detail, right? Okay, so this one is gonna go, on the front of our, so we have a tall, real red card base, right? So we're gonna pop this right on here. And then we're gonna put our piece with our stars on the inside too. Okay, put this one right inside here. And we are good to go. So, isn't that beautiful? So we've got the one with the two stars or one with the little red star on it, but love all that glittery detail, right? Plus you have a few extra stars left over you can use for another project and that cute little scroll too. <laughs> all right, so thank you guys so, oh, and hold on, hold on, I forgot. We gotta put our other star. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back of this one. So yeah, that's right. Remember how I was saying you have those stars left over? So we're gonna put this one right on there. There we go. Okay, so now we are all set. And did I ever give you guys the uh, host code? I think I did, right? But let's make sure. Okay, so here's the host code. When you're ready to order any of the products that we used on our cards today, right? The NPTCWZUH. You're gonna get these two cards when you use that host code and shop online with me. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the wrapped in plaid designer series paper pack, beautiful paper pack. And if you bump your order up to uh, at least $50, you can get a pack of the holiday rhinestones too that we used on that card right there. You can see the pretty, so the red, it could be real red, it could be cherry cobbler, so many fun uses. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm gonna say go blue. We hope for a victory over uh, Penn State this weekend, tomorrow on Saturday. And whoever you are rooting for this weekend, hopefully that goes well for you as well. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. Don't forget to keep an eye out. I will post as soon as I know more about that 24-hour sale. Uh, Stampin' Up! said they're gonna post on the website on Monday, um, I'm assuming Monday morning, so we'll be on there Monday to check it out, and I will let you know as soon as I know anything more. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend, beautiful fall day today. Loving it here in Michigan, so see you guys later. Bye, everybody.